Yesterday, we talked about last buyer's quantity index and past year's quantity index. Now today, let's talk about price indices. Price index. Price indices. So now, price index is the weighted average of prices. So quantity index was the weighted average of quantities. Here in this case, it is the weighted average of prices. Weighted average of prices. So if you want to write IP, IP is the price index, it would be P1T W1 plus P2T W2 all upon P1T is P1T and P2T are yeah, prices in time period T. P1B W1 plus P2B W2 right p2t is w2 so now here in this case w1 and w2 would be the uh, would be the weights and what would these weights be quantities in periods i mean in period t or in period uh, b that is in the current period or in the base period so for past years For purchase quantity index, we will take uh, the tieth period quantity as weights. Tth period quantity as weights. So PP would be what? X1T P1T plus X2T P2T all upon X1T P1B plus X2T P2B. Right, and if you want to write last buyer's price index or last buyer's uh, this index, and this is not the quantity index, I'm so sorry. This is the price index. Yeah, sorry. And uh, last pairs price index. Now, spares price index, right. So, here the weights are the quantity in the base period. So, base period quantity as weights. So how do you write this? LP is uh, your uh, X1B P1T plus X2B P2T whole upon X1B P1B plus X2B P2B like this right now wherein gives you an example in which he says he asks that what if if the pastures price index is greater than one hmm. so what if if pp is greater than one so if if pp is greater than one beta then you just put this greater than one and what will you be having is 
P1 T X1 T plus P2 T X2 T is greater than P1 B X1 T plus P2 B X2 T. Now the point is that reveal preference is inconclusive here because the prices are different. You cannot compare this. Uh, so reveal preference. Reveal preference is, is, on, is inconclusive here because the prices are different, right? The problem is that the problem is that there are now different prices. in numerator and denominator, right? So you cannot make the comparison as far as real preference is concerned. So he gives you a different way to think about it. He says that, suppose you create an index M, that is the ratio of expenditure in period T uh, to expenditure in period base, in, in period B, which is uh, M. So you write it like ratio of expenditure in period T would be P1T, X1T plus p 2 t x 2 t whole upon p 1 b x 1 b plus p 2 b x 2 b. So, this is what ratio of expenditure in period t to expenditure in period b. So, this is the expenditure in period t. I mean, you are consuming X1, T, X2, T at prices P1, T, P2, T and in base year you were consuming X1, B, X2, B at prices P1, B, P2, B. So this is ratio of expenditure in period B to period, in period T to period B. Right. Suppose PP is greater than M. Right. Then what happens? What is your PP? P1 T X1 T plus P2 T X2 T all upon P1 B x1 b plus p2 b x1 t it should be t na p1 b x1 t p1 b x1 t p2 b x2 t like this yeah now it's right Ah, and here it is P1 T X1 T plus P2 T X2 T right and uh, and uh, the denominator of M is P1 B X1 B plus P2 B X2 B. So, numerator is same beta. When will PP be greater than M? When the denominator of this is going to be more than denominator of this. So, that would mean P1B X1B plus P2B X2B is greater than P1B X1T plus P2B X2T right 
So now prices are same, you can compare this. So in this case, when you're choosing X1B, X2B at prices P1B, P2B, the bundle X1T, X2T was available, but you still have chosen X1B, X2B. So it means what? It means that bundle B is revealed preferred to bundle T, right? So please write that bundle. chosen at year B is revealed preferred right to the bundle chosen at year T, right? So if if purchase, in, purchase price index is greater than the expenditure index, then uh, consumer must be better off in the base period as compared to the tth period, right? Okay. Thank you, Vita.